guys, it's Laura Lally. I'm three days behind on videos and it's time for another episode of Attack on Titan. We are already at episode 9 of season 2. I'm almost caught up with the rest of the anime watchers in the world. That's kind of crazy. But yeah, so last episode was kind of eh. It was very much filler, kind of like just de-stressing from the last several episodes of action. Uh, because previously we had the reveal in episode 6, then we had the big fight between Eren and uh, Reina and Berthold in episode 7. So then episode 8 was just dealing with the fallout of the fact that Eren was captured and kind of just Armin and Mikasa's like internal struggle with um, kind of failing their friend. So. Now, the scout regiment is on their way into the nearby forest to hopefully catch Ryan and Berthold while they're still, like, taking some time after the Titan fight, recharging, um, hoping to catch them before their batteries are fully recharged and they can tighten up and run away. So, that's where we're at now. I'm very interested to see where this is going to go because when something like this happened last season, it was the anything in the forest and everyone died. So, yeah. Hopefully that's not going to happen, but I'm looking forward to this. So, should we just jump into it? I think we should. I should just stop babbling. Also, the glare on my glasses is annoying me. I need better lighting. I need better lighting so bad. I need to figure something out. Oh my gosh. Okay. He's staring at me and growling. I don't know what to do about it. Hanji? Get, get me a horse. Sensor Commander. She can't go. Going? Back to the village where we caught the Titan that couldn't walk. Not Ragako. I need to see. Have you lost touch with reality? Oh. You're in no condition I think she's right now. put the pieces together. Stay here and quit trying to move. Welcome back. <laughs> what the hell? My arms. Aaron. Yeah. I'm a... That was my fault. You can pin your injuries on me. Guess I was in kind of a hurry back there. Bit your nape without thinking about your arms. Yeah. I think our buddy down there is an abnormal. It may look like he's just kicking back, but those eyes haven't left us once. That's disturbing. Lots of smaller ones down there too. Body can only take so much. It's a little preoccupied with healing at the moment. Nice try. You expect me to sit here and take the word of a liar? Of course, I realize neither of you is just gonna do as I ask. Yeah. Like Ymir was saying, though, this place is crawling with titans. Can I assume titan form in this condition? No. Rhina doesn't seem to think so. <sighs> what happened to everyone else? Where are the scouts? Oh, yeah. That's what happened. But then you know all about that, don't you, Amir? <gasps> How is it she's able to transform into a titan? Doesn't seem to catch her off guard like it did me. Yeah. What's her angle? Whose side is she on in all this? Seems to be on a completely different side, before, somehow. I have to keep my emotions in check. Give myself a chance to recuperate. Good luck with that. Aaron's not gonna let those assholes get the best of him without a fight. Agreed? Always has, always will. I was gonna say he was like a surrogate dad to them, but he's more like a drunk uncle. Sorry, there's not a hell of a lot I can do. Even if it is a matter of life and death. That's comforting. Ever since those titans showed up, that was yesterday, right? Man, we're lucky the wall hasn't been destroyed. 
Still, you'd think that means they'd give us a break. And don't even get me started on promotion. What the hell? Huh? What? Aw, oh, come on. I don't think that's too much to ask, do you? God knows we've done our share of heavy lifting. It's just nice to be acknowledged. You bang your head or something? <laughs> Thank you! What are you talking about? Seriously? Uh, I'm starting to think me and her might become a thing. Right? It's not just me. She always treats me like... <gasps> Time where I agree with Aaron. What are you so pissed about all of a sudden? He's pissing me Take off. It easy, man. It's if you know something we don't, now would be a good time to put it on the table. Huh? Reina, snap out of it. You're not a soldier, okay? You and I are. We're warriors. Okay, that just. <laughs> Snapped. It's like the poor bastard's personality is compartmentalized. Everything he does is a contradiction. In he's terms. dissociating. He can't help it. On one hand, he's a warrior bent on pushing mankind past the brink. On the other, he's pretending to be a soldier. I'm thinking maybe he got a little lost in the role. See, he can't resolve those facets of himself. And judging by Bearswell's expression, this isn't the first statement. Blows me away. Wow, it's a little concerning, though, the fact that he is losing his grip when he has that much power. Remember that, Bear Told? I'm talking to you, Lackey. I taught you everything. You sat there and looked me straight in the eye. Watch me relive seeing my mother eat blood. Don't you remember? What was going through your head when I told you that story? Want me to be honest? In the moment, I felt sorry for you. Well, I mean, you the hell you two created! Are you proud of yourselves? You're not one of us! You've never been! You're not even human anymore! Policy? Is that what you hope to get out of calling us murderers? Want us to feel bad? Want us to take the blame? Who are you talking to? One way or another, the two of you will pay. And it's gonna hurt. That was a bit of disturbing animation right there. Monkey, beast, titan, whatever you want to call him. He's behind this latest fiasco. Mm -hmm. It's why titans are cropping up out of nowhere. I get the feeling he's gauging our strength. If you think killing these morons will put an end to all of this, you are sorely mistaken. Huh? They're just lackeys. The There's no future for this world and you know it. You have a solid grasp of things. What do you think comes next? Joining our side wouldn't be out of the question if you were so inclined. And put my faith in you guys? That's rich. Neither of you trust me as far as you can throw me. Come on, that isn't true. What do you gain by killing you humanity? I really don't want. get that. All you care about is protecting Krista. You can always put your trust in Aaron. See where that leads you. What? Weirdly enough, once again, I'm on Aaron's side. They did Trouble kill thousands of people. I don't Better see to reason to join with their him. side. With us, right? Who's the real enemy? Tell me what you know! Who is it? Couldn't say. <laughs> All right, then. Sorry, Aaron. The scouts are here. Calvary's arrived. Okay.
Okay. So, this is the grasp of things I have now. Berthold and Reina, they're not the masterminds of this. Did they kill, like, thousands of innocent people? Yes. But there's clearly someone bigger pulling the strings, and it's connected to the Beast Titan. The Beast Titan is also responsible for the Titans cropping up out of nowhere, which I've got my own theories about. Um, and I think Hanji's starting to get on that uh, theory train as well. Ymir, while she has these powers and seems to know some things, she's not in the inner loop of anything. She's kind of just in it for her own survival. But she's apparently seemingly thrown her hat in the ring with Rana and them in the hopes of protecting Krista. Aaron, weirdly enough, is projecting everything that I was feeling during that episode. Even if it was in his kind of cringy, over-angry way. They keep saying that there's no hope for humanity. It's their goal to wipe out humanity. That this world doesn't have a future. Okay, but you obviously hope in some kind of future you wouldn't be doing the things that you're doing. So what do you gain by killing off the population that's left? What do you gain by joining their side or whatever side it is? Because it seems like they just want a world of titans and um... No? That doesn't seem to be a good thing to me. I know there's probably lots of stuff that we don't know yet. I know that the manga is very much more in-depth and has been going on quite a ways past this point. I know there's probably plenty of intrigue and stuff back there, but just from what I've got now, I just... While Bertold and Reina clearly aren't pulling the strings, that's still not going to make me trust them or feel pity for them. Because they're still doing what they're doing because in some way they believe in it. Even if they dissociate themselves from it, even if they're very aware of the fact that they've murdered thousands of innocent lives, they still did it. And I don't know. I feel these last few episodes are either going to be really crazy and informative or not informative in the slightest, and it'll just be a guessing game until season three. But either way, hmm. Man, I really love this season, by the way. Season two is like completely blown season one out of the water for me. And uh, it just keeps getting crazier. And I gotta say, I'm a lot more interested in it now. The mystery that they're building up, like alongside with all the action and the character development. Because I feel like that was a problem that season one had because it had those things but it had them very slowly spaced out over many episodes and I just feel like the pacing in this season is a lot better in my opinion. I know that some people uh, prefer season one but uh, yeah. So this is just getting good um, and I'm excited to be caught up with everyone else. So uh, thank you guys for watching. I love you so much. Discord, Patreon, Twitter, everything down in the description, as well as Reactors and Realms, our D&D &D series. And uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.